Good morning, folks. We are going to quickly run through today's top stories because we've got episode 17 of Earth Catastrophe Cycle Series coming out in just a few hours. Before that, however, we need to hit the sun, earth, and top science news. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star work home yet again. Southern coronal hole down there at the bottom. No sunspot groups and no solar flaring. The solar wind not only calmed a bit, you see the purple plasma speed dropping a bit at the right side of the charts, but up in blue, phi angle simply refuses to ride at 180 degrees. When it happens some point now four days past due, this earthquake drought will end. We expect three magnitude 6 earthquakes every week, but have had none now for nine days. And remember, it's the coronal holes dictating these sector boundaries. While record snow and cold are relevant in the Americas, this is easily the top story. After no meaningful rain for five years, the destruction of the flooding to local life and agriculture is astounding. Barely are there words to describe it. Quick little look at a decadal cycle of salinity in the lower Colorado River, always driven by rainfall totals in the wide region to the north, and all decadal cycles on Earth are related to the sunspot cycle, just like the 22 and 44 year ocean cycles are harmonics of the same. Folks, these are the elemental abundances for a couple solar energetic particle events in the space weather age. We already know every element is present in the solar wind, and here we have an outstanding look at the primary production in some solar flare events. Up next, the brick. A molecular cloud in the central zone that appears as a brick blocking out our view of that portion of the inner galaxy, something scientists really want to see. But here we are discovering that the brick is a trick of perspective and that it is a complex, deep, and wide structure of molecular clumping. It just looks like a brick. Last but not least, or maybe least, the great Xenon 1T dark matter search comes up empty again. It is considered one of the most promising WIMP search devices, but when WIMPs do not exist, that means very little. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember, episode 17 coming out here later today, so come back for that. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.